I'm going to be doing drilling myself. Sam is going to assist. She's doing a great job. <laughs> Just for the record, I do know how to drill. Hey, plant lovers. It's Sam and Juliet, and today we are in Astoria, Queens. This neighborhood is super historic, and there's a lot of new development happening here. Astoria also happens to be the home of our next client. So, Juliet, tell us, where are we going today? We're meeting with Erica Lou. She is a fashion and lifestyle influencer. She just moved from San Francisco to New York. She and sounds fabulous. She is, you're going to love her. And we are collaborating together on setting up her new home. She wanted to add life to her home as it reminded her of a cold hotel room. Great. She reached out to us and I had a meeting with her a few weeks back to learn more about Erica, her lifestyle, what she's looking for, and make sure that the plants we select is going to actually enhance the apartment style without interfering with her routine. Okay, well, that sounds like a challenge that I think we're up for. I can't wait to meet her, and let's go. Woo! My name is Erica. I am a fashion and lifestyle influencer, and I just recently moved to New York City from San Francisco. Erica, thank you so much for having us here. You're welcome. This space is very bright, it's calm, it's serene, and it's quiet, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. So congratulations on thank this new you. space. So when I moved to New York, I was looking for a lot of different pieces of furniture, and once everything arrived, I thought I did a really good job, but <laughs> I realized that I was missing a lot of life. So um, I'm hoping to bring some greenery into this space. We want to be super conscious of the fact that you use this place as a stage for your social media content. So we want to just make it as clean and clutter free as possible so that you can really make an impact with your videos. All right, I'm super excited. So we're going to get started. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm we have the plants, they're here. We're so excited to get them in. I can't wait. Okay, we're gonna ask you to leave now so that we can get the job done. I'm getting kicked out. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Bye. 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 See you soon. Bye. See Thank you. you. How beautiful is this plant? I love it. Oh. Teamwork. Make the dream work. Let's we really want to make sure that we have a larger plant here as a strong focal point. So when you even enter through the apartment, you can see it right here. And it's very exotic and it's beautiful. So go ahead. Let's put it in. And these planters are such that you can lift the inner pot out and always just drop it in. And it makes it moving around super easy. My goal is to make sure that we have a little continuosity of the green light without blocking the view too much. So we have a little taller plant here, and then your eye will follow and have a little more like a green element going forward. So it's not like just an empty space and there is nothing here. Yeah, I'm telling you, the plants, you don't have to have a lot of plants. You don't have to have huge size plants to really make yeah. a difference. And these two guys love bright light. So oh yeah. It's perfect for this window yeah. because this West. view and this west facing window is going to get a lot of light throughout the day. That would be awesome. I love it here. What do you think, Sam? Do we like it here? Let's see. It's kind of uh, the perfect height for this console. Is it better straight on or is it better on angle? I actually, well, it depends. So I like it straight on. If she's, if Erica's oh, sitting actually, here yes, yeah, you're right. most of the good. time, I'd want to be seeing all of that from the plant. Yeah, no, I think that's, this is a good angle. Way. Thanks to my long arms, I'm gonna move this beautiful little shaker and this rose, which I'll probably drink later. All right, so that's just the plant. We, we do not want to use any larger size plant because Erica is using this countertop for eating and cooking and actually doing some uh, product photo shoots. So we want to make sure we do have a green element, but it's not taking over the space too much. So we're going to hang up a live frame for Erica's bedroom right on this wall, which is an amazing area spot because even when you sit on the couch, you can actually see the frame. I'm gonna be doing drilling myself, so I'm just gonna assist. Just for the record, I do know how to drill, but she just wants to take that responsibility today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In the next episode, I'm drilling. Look, Sam, that you're like an exact 
measurements. Perfect. I sit on the couch and see if it actually works. I think that's a good height right here. Alright, so we're gonna use. She's doing a great job. Alright. To get it in. You're doing great, Julia. <laughs> Thank you. The frame has actually a water reservoir, so it's easy. You can just like, you know, you fill up the reservoir, and then probably once every two, three weeks, you need to refill it. It's very easy. Love it. Beautiful. Instant change. So now we're gonna bring two more plants into the bedroom, and this guy goes right here, and the bromeliads just gonna frame them. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay, let's try. All right. You could see the Empire State oh, Building. Oh, yeah, right there. Look. It definitely looks much livelier. It definitely brings this joy. Yeah. Perfect choice of plants. Good job. Woohoo! Woo okay. The space looks really nice. Yeah. Very happy. Perfect. And listen, the, the key is not to create a jungle right away. Right, right away. Oh, yeah. I think the, the main point is to start small and then build everything around that. All right, Erica is back. She's behind the door, so let's let her in and see if she likes what we've done. Come All on right, Erica. Come on in. Hi. Hi. <laughs> wow. Welcome to your new home. I loved the transformation when I first came into the apartment. I was really surprised on how um, the plants didn't overwhelm the space and it really still felt open, but adding touches of color and like life to the environment. So, yeah. How you feel? Look what do you think? Look at that, it looks that's amazing. It make, does it add life? Yeah. yeah. See, that's what you yeah. wanted, some life in your some, space. Yeah. Right. Oh my God, I'm already thinking about all like the picture opportunities, yeah. like where I'm gonna, oh. Listen, we were very conscious about the number of plants and the style and shape and size of the plant mm -hmm. because we just wanted to make sure that you were able to enjoy this green from every vantage point, yeah. but still be able to shoot your videos, live your life, sprawl out in your apartment if you want to. We used the Lechuza self-watering planters. So it's easy yeah, to care for. Super oh, easy to care so for, self-watering system built in and super clean. Everything is contained inside the pot so there's no mess, yeah. no water no spillage. Leakage. I love that it's not overpowering the space. Exactly. It still feels was very helpful. open. Yeah. yeah. So we actually printed a key instructions for you for each plant and they go by name and also it gave you the instructions on how to use your care tool. Yes. You That's made it so it. easy. So this first plant is the Monstera. We put it in a cubical white planter, and I think it's just the perfect accent piece for right next to the television in this entire console. It definitely gives you that more tropical feel with the leaf pattern and the leaf shape. Mm -hmm. And it does love a good mist, so I want to see how you're gonna be misting from this point forward. There okay, you go. go. Yes. Ooh. Exactly, yeah. All right, on to the next one. Moving on. Let's go, after you. So this is the Bella Palm and the Bird of Paradise. Mm -hmm. So you're feeling like a little bit in paradise. Yes. They both, both plants love missing the same. So does it grow towards the sun? It will grow up, but if you only expose the plant to one side, it will lean naturally to get more light. Got so it. we just got to go for it. Sure, and we don't sure. want this to get to you know, cro cleaning. crooked yeah. look. Yeah. 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 I think we should take this time to use the soil oh, meter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so here you go, here. I'll take this. Thank shirt. you. So basically you, Stick it in the soil, mm -hmm. and you go pretty deep. So you see right now it says three, mm -hmm. and this particular plant loves to be at five and six. So that means five it's way six. too dry, so it okay. needs to be watered. Got it. She's taking care of her new baby. Yeah, you can turn around, yeah. All right, yeah, exactly. You see how light the pot is? Yeah, it's yeah, not so bad. It's very, yeah. So this is the Ardesia plant, and we put it in a mini windowsill white planter. I love it. It just adds a nice pop of color to the kitchen area. I know you want to miss it. You can go ahead and <laughs> You can see me. <laughs> All right, I'm very excited to show you the bedroom, so let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, this is Life Frame. Mm -hmm. It also has a water reservoir and offers the self-watering feature. And we did put a mixture of different plants. They're gonna cascade and eventually they're gonna cover the base mm -hmm. of the frame. 
and uh, the, the variety in the Olek Lolai, and you can actually see it from the living room, which is actually yeah. great. So it's not only like greeting you when you enter to the bedroom, but it also mm -hmm. gives you a pleasure to look at when you're sitting on a couch. Basically, you pour the water in the reservoir, and you watch watering can disappear once there's a, enough water. Oh, it's going up. It's more. It's yeah, like, you need like the whole can. Yeah, you see? That's so cool. It's like a carnival game. So we have here Croton plant and bromeliads. And we put one in a Deltini planter and one in another windowsill mini planter. And like I said, these are both perfect for like a ledge or a, a sill, a windowsill. So cool. It's so pretty. It, it really does frame that window and makes it look like it's uh, adding like a jungle to the concrete jungle. Our favorite part of this whole experience is seeing your reaction, mm -hmm. watching our clients transform and their apartments transform. But our second favorite part of this whole experience is drinking champagne at the very end. <laughs> The conclusion of the day, few plants really can make a difference in your home. Yes, we recommend starting small and growing from there. Yeah, get few plants, learn how to care for them, learn how to live with them, and once you're comfortable, you can always get more. And thank you. <laughs> Hey everybody, thank you for watching our video, we hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit like, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram at MyCityPlant. So you don't miss out our future episodes about plant design and care. Bye! Bye.